Hi there, this is Amiga Supreme uh, here with another Transformers toy review. Uh, this time I'm having a look at a figure from uh, Beast Wars 2, which is the Japanese Beast Wars, and this is a figure called uh, Gigastorm, not Gigastorm, uh, Megastorm, sorry. The reason why I said Gigastorm is um, in Beast Wars, uh, this figure here, Megastorm, is brothers with Galvatron, and um, how he, he then becomes, later on in, in the um, series, becomes uh, Gigastorm, which is a repaint of Trypticon, when he he um, comes in contact with this kind of dark Energon um, kind of th stuff. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I want to say it's Angamolis or something like that. I don't know how it's pronounced or how it's spelled, um, but it's a bit, a bit like dark Energon. It basically turns him into a, a blind rage and it mutated him into Gigastorm, which is uh, like a, uh, a redo of Trypticon. So there you go, that's <laughs> a bit long-winded. But um, here he is. So he's basically um, a Generation 2 Megatron. I don't know if this is exactly how he is and they've just put new stickers on because I didn't have the Generation 2 Megatron. He's a pretty big... Um, Pretty big tank, um, you know. If I uh, let me, I haven't got. Uh, let me just grab Optimus's trailer a second, and I'll just put that alongside Optimus's trailer. So this is the uh, masterpiece one. So I'm just going to fold this up quickly and just place it alongside it, just so you can see how big it is. Come on. That's it. Roughly. So you can see he's a decent sized tank. He's pretty big. Um, he's got uh, this, which is a, an add on on the top here. It just plugs into the side here. He's got a little gun which uh, pegs on in the hole here. He's got some uh, markings on him. He's got a few stickers. So he's got Destron there, which is um, the Japanese kind of Predacon. Thing that they've got on there and then I'll, on here as well it says big stick on the on the gun there and if you turn it over on the other side it says peace through tyranny and then you've got the other Predacon badge there underneath here he's got um, a Predacon rub sign which does work there you go so you can see that and he does fire missiles he, he comes with one two three five missiles Basically, what you do is you get the missiles, and they've got little grooves on, and you just drop them in alongside the grooves there, and it'll drop into there. You close it up, and you pull this trig back here, which is it's quite stiff. And then you press that to fire it out, uh, and that'll and that'll fire out the missile. And you can move this up and down as well. So I think I've actually, I don't think I've put that right along there. I'll try and try it out and see if I can. Oh. Yeah, so there you go, that did come out properly. I just didn't want to fire it across the room and have to retrieve it. So you can see he's nice bright green tank with these kind of brownish bits on here nice silver bits on the wheels here for tread You've got wheels underneath as well so he does roll nicely this turret moves up and down to transform him he's pretty simple take these bits off first of all uh, take the arms pull them to the side like so and then what you want to do is the gun turret, you want to pull it to one side and pull it this side and that will flick up the head and then you want to get this bit here, pull this down and you want to open the bottoms of his legs up here open them towards you then fold his legs down 
and they'll just tap into here. So it's nice and secure. And same on the other side. And then turn them around and fold the back bits up here. And at the front, turn them around again. Got these teeny little feet for him. Pull them that way. And then the top bits here, they'll just plug in here into the top of top of him here. Like that. They'll click in nicely. Let me just readjust the camera slightly so you can see the top of him. And pull these bits down here, move it towards you like that, and you can move his his arms like that, move it that way, that way, that way, then he's nearly done, you pop his gun into his hand here, and if you want to you can also pop this back, bit back on, you can pop it onto the side there if you want to, or wherever, I don't think it really adds anything other than try not to lose it. As you can see, he's a very big figure. Uh, great head sculpt on him. This head doesn't move though. This still moves up and down. Articulation on him. His arms move up and down this way. His fist can move in towards that way. You can move them this way, but then you can't bend them because you've you've only got this little slot here where you can actually bend them in towards yourself. Um, you can bend the legs kind of, but in doing so you open up this bit so it's not actually designed to move like that. So pretty much that is him how he is. Um, and then you've got the same thing where you can shoot the shoot the missiles from here as well. So he comes with a, a load of missiles as well. But uh, that's him. That's uh, Megastorm. Hope you like him. Let me know what you think. Um, Hopefully you're going to be trying to review a few other Beast Wars and a few obscure sort of um, figures, if that's alright. Um, I don't know what else I've got. I've got hopefully a Mania King coming next week from Unique Toys. So I'm going to let you know as soon as I get him. Uh, I spoke to, well, I spoke to the guy on Skype from Unique Toys. Or what was it? A couple of, well... Just before New Year, and he said he sent it this week. So last time, it took literally a week to send from China, and it was there straight away. So fingers crossed. As soon as I've got it, I'll literally bring it straight home from work, getting it delivered from at work. I'll take a few pictures of it on the day, and hopefully review it and get it up uh, for you guys to have a look at. Let you know what you think. Okay, cheers, bye.